Hello, welcome back to the three-hour news show. You are watching our sector segment, see the stories. Now it's time for us to, you know, loosen up a bit because we've been talking about some serious news. Although it's weekend, we still have updates uh, uh, regarding uh, lots of happening uh, things happening in the global stage. But now it is time for us to welcome today's special guest, the talented performer Satin Zaneta. Hi. Hi, Satin. Thank you so much for coming. Nice to meet you. And you as well. Hi, welcome. All right, please have a seat. Yes. Thank you so much for coming to our studio. Um, so uh, this should be your first time here. Yes. In the studio because you just released a new single. Yes. Jam Satu. Yes. Although it's like five hours too <laughs> late, it's six already. So Jam Satu means one o'clock. Um, why is it Jam Satu? Hmm. So basically, it's just a like a metaphor for like a specific hour. It doesn't have to be like Jam Satu always. Mm -hmm. But um, the interesting part is when I made the song, it's actually Jam Satu. Mm -hmm. um, is when we have lunch break, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So like, we have a crush that we only met them at Jam Satu. Like, oh. at that hour only. And okay. we're too afraid to like, express our feelings to them. So like, we're just admiring them from afar. At Jam Satu. Uh, okay. So that might be the situation in your office if you have like another cross in another department <laughs> <laughs> whom you could only see around the lunch break. Yeah. But what are you currently up to? So actually after the release of the new single, I've been busy promoting the song of course. of course. And also I want to focus more on my music. Mm -hmm. So lately I think I've been drafting a lot of Songs. Ooh. So hopefully, Hi. hopefully, next year I uh, will be releasing more songs than this year. Wow. Well, now speaking of that, tell us about your music journey. How did it start? It actually, um, music generally has been around me since I was a kid because mm. my dad loves to make music also, mm -hmm. and um, I've been really into music um, since in primary school I think mm -hmm. but I never like really acknowledge it and I'm too shy to show it to the public yeah. so I'm like a bathroom singer <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um, I've been really into it when I was in junior high school I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. uh, I started to like uh, going to a competition and then I joined a choir mm -hmm. at my school mm -hmm. so basically around 14-ish. 14-ish. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how old are you now? I'm 21 now. Oh. Ah, around our age, Russia. <laughs> around age. Right, uh, So, uh, around uh, this time, we saw and we've experienced lots of uh, young singers, mm. um, newcomers. Um, and also, if we want to relate it to uh, the current uh, development, it's everything is all digital. Yeah. Now, um, in relate to that, just to get my generation to get into this conversation and to understand the <laughs> context, um, how would you, how would you strive in this in this digital world situation? Because when it comes to music, everyone now can make music. Yeah. Everyone now can release music. And how would you see yourself competing to that? Um, I think that's. Pretty much, I would say that's the challenge in mm. this digital era. But I would say also there there are a lot of advantages mm -hmm. uh, in this digital era. Making music is much more easy, mm -hmm. if I could say, because that's just how I feel. Um, back then, my dad was also creating music. Uh, he often like shared to me how the struggle was back then, and he told me that. It's much more fun and much more easier for us to promote the music. And actually, the number one challenge is to stay relevant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. To be really honest. But um, beside of that, I think making connection to the audience is also the challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, digital era, everything seems easy and there will always be solution for that. And how do you do that? How do you build connection with your audience? Actually, my songs, basically all of my songs, is my own story. Mm -hmm. So like, <laughs> uh, when I sing my song, it, it's like 
telling my audience my story. Mm -hmm. So like I feel connected to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's like, you know, just having fun mm -hmm. on the stage and every time meeting people, it's just, I don't know, sometimes I just feel connected to them. Okay, so I think one of the questions that Ask was implying to ask you mm -hmm. is that how are you able to garner such a huge community online as well, mm -hmm. right? Because you have huge followers both on Instagram and TikTok. I think on TikTok it's about 500,000. Mm -hmm. And um, it wow. must be not only because you're a singer. So what what do you do there? And what do you, uh, what do, you do to connect with your audiences? To community. I think I'm just posting mm. uh, something that relatable to them uh -huh. <laughs> and what do you usually post <laughs> i want to know basically anything just like having fun yeah. uh -huh. on the social media because mm -hmm. right now i feel like there's a lot of tension out there uh, oh yeah and oh, yes. social media sure. is yes. one of the platform for us to have fun also mm. yeah. but we often forget about that mm -hmm. yeah. so like i'm just posting something relatable fun and like yeah mm -hmm. something simple i think my audience is very, uh, is pretty much my age, right? Yeah. yeah. So like, so they relate we connect easily. really easy somehow, I don't yeah. know why. What are the topics that you are most frequently talk about? I saw your getting ready with me <laughs> yeah. videos. What are the other things that you usually like post? What are some of the topics? Mm. Outfit check, okay. something Outfit like that. Check. Somehow yes. people love that. Yes. yes. And beauty contents pretty yeah. much and then singing content also of course mm -hmm. basically anything that i could think of that day like oh. i'm just gonna post it anyway okay. so um uh, talking about your age as mm -hmm. well it is actually the time for you to explore everything and also to start anything that mm -hmm. you could actually have at your disposal now start from singing you are also um, an aspiring actress right <laughs> I want to know about your first acting experience. Mm -hmm. So actually this year, the movie is just launched. Um, it's called Here Go and the Sparklings. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my first movie. It was a fun experience and also very interesting because I explored a lot of things there. I learned a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, but also it's very challenging for me because it's an action movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an action movie. Yeah, a lot of movement. So, of, did you yeah. did you also uh, need to fight? Ish, I think so. A little bit. I I couldn't tell more because girl power. <laughs> girl yeah. power. So, how did you? Uh, how, what did you do to prepare for that movie? Uh, are you like thought by your father, who's also an actor? Wait, uh, who? <laughs> Abby Mana. No, your father is son of thunder. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I did so, not know that. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. No, it's only fitting Whoa. that she's playing a superhero movie. Oh, you're in the right hand. I you're know. in the right hand. <laughs> so, tell us the process. Um, there are a lot of physical um, activity. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the reading, the script reading is very tense because we have to do a lot of movements, but at the same time, we have to like tell the audience the mm. message that yeah. you want to tell. You have to act. Yeah. So. There are a lot of things we have to do at once. So it was a challenge for me, but it was super fun because um, the cast is actually like, we are all um, on the same age back then, like 17-ish, mm. 18-ish. Oh my God. So like, it was, you know, you, you can imagine like how chaotic, but at the same time, I mean, Do you perfect. feel like you're sort of becoming yourself as well on the camera? Mm. Or do you have to sort of act a little bit? Of course, I have to act a little bit because my character is not me at all. Okay. okay. <laughs> she's very like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but she's very different with me. Okay. But I found it uh, very similar. Uh, me and my character mm -hmm. called Usi. Mm -hmm. She's very perfectionist. Mm. That just like screams me oh. somehow. Vicious perfectionist. That could be that could be a benefit. Yeah. Or also definitely. at the same time could be the uh, disadvantage. Yeah. So uh, we want to see how um, the things on social uh, on your social media because we've been digging through your social media <laughs> and we found several pictures. Can you tell us the story behind them? Okay. All right. I'll try. Ready? Okay. This. Okay, what's the story? It was one of the greatest moments <laughs> in my life ever. Okay. 
Oh, first, can, a, can you tell the audience who this guy is? This is Rex Orange County. Exactly. So some of some of us <laughs> might not know who ROC is. Up until now, I still can describe my feelings. Actually, as you can see, my face is like I don't know. <laughs> I, still, I still can't process it because. He is my biggest inspiration. Wow. Um, I listened to his music since I was like early year of high school. Mm. And then I get to meet him. It was, I don't know. I don't know. Did he get a chance to hear you sing? No. Oh. But uh, my friend that day, uh, she also went there. Uh, she told Alex, mm -hmm. like, she also made music. And then he was Aww. like, ah, oh, that's nice. At least he knows. <laughs> At least he yes. Knows. At least he knows that you are amazing as of the uh, of course. Don't change your thing. You're amazing. <laughs> okay, the next one. Okay, uh, another great moments in my life. Um, the one and only. Mm -hmm. A one false. false. Um, I get to sing his song. One of his song. Um, one of his hit song mm -hmm. actually. I can't breathe. Like for. Before ten minutes before the performance, mm. I I don't know I don't know what to say. It was a very interesting experience. What was the song? Uh, wait, I forgot the title. Uh, it's the one Sayangku. Yes, by Rika. Uh, uh, it was it was written by uh, Rika Ruslan. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. Were you nervous because of the difficulty of the song, or because you were singing in front of him? I was both. <laughs> Actually, both. Okay. <laughs> I was singing in front of him, and also it, it was very unique because um, I don't get to hear the mm. metronomes and, yeah, and other stuff. stuff. Yeah, because uh, the guitarist told me to like just sing your heart out. Okay. I will follow you. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So responsibility is on your shoulder. Yeah, I do. Interesting experience, dude. <laughs> I lost my cool if I were you <laughs> singing in front of the legendary Iwan Fels. I know, right? All right, can I have? Uh, I think this is the last picture. That would be the last picture. Okay. This Aww, one. So cute. It's my big brother. How old were you? Uh, I think I was like eight. Yeah. Are you sure? It looks small. Uh, <laughs> cute. Very I cute. I really forgot. Okay, I, I tried. Oh, of it's. Course. Oh, the five. mom is here. The mom is here. <laughs> yeah. so exactly. She was five in that picture. <laughs> so, uh, how how many uh, uh, how many children do you have, madam? Four. Yeah. She's I'm number like two. One. Yes. Oh. So wow. you have three other wow. siblings. Yes. So it is very uncommon for people these days, uh, the households, to have more <laughs> than one sibling. I only have one sibling. You only have one sibling? I have two siblings. Two siblings. But I imagine it's such a fun How is it? Home. How does it's it feel to, to be in a, such a... Mm -hmm. I mean, these days it's huge such family. a huge family. <laughs> how, how does it feel to, to, to be in a such a huge And also family? fun fact, they are all boys. Oh. I have two little brothers you and one... You are the princess in the family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, no, no. That's the queen. <laughs> That's the queen. And Still. here's the princess. Yes. So how does it feel though? Like, what's your sort of role and among the siblings? If I could say, I'm really sorry for all my brothers, <laughs> but I'm the boss. Okay. <laughs> I am the yes. boss. I don't know why. I mean, like, I'm the only girl, mm -hmm. right? So they're all scared of me. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe it's also because you have strong personality, right? <laughs> so it's think. my way or no. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> don't you feel like it's the time for us to actually listen Definitely. to what? her song could actually do to us definitely because we, we've known her a little bit now yes and now we are going to see her perform her new single jam satu before we continue our talk with satin yes. and uh please rasha the microphone you can yes. actually you. get ready over there and uh ladies and gentlemen before we go into the performance i would like to remind you as well do not go anywhere because we still have more to talk about but now this is the time to hear the song Jam Satu by Satin Zaneta.
bertemu berlalu berkali begitu terlalu dinginku untuk menyanyi Jam satu Cara B Caramu Semanis Itu Dan semua cerita baik Tentangmu dari temanku Semakin Masih terlalu jauh Walau hanya tukar kata denganmu Ingin dengar namamu Langsung dari bibirmu Walau hanya terdiamku membangku Setiap jam satu Semua pasti berubah jika ku Meranikan untuk menyapamu lebih dulu Apa lebih baik jika saling tak tahu Berimajinasi terlalu jauh Walau hanya tukar kata denganmu Satu, semua pasti berubah jika ku berani ha, Setiap jam satu